Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the just announced new Samsung Galaxy devices. In front of me we have the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus and the S22 Ultra, but also let's not forget about the Samsung Galaxy S22. But today we are just gonna be focusing on these two devices and I am very, very excited to get my hands on and see some of the upgrades and changes that Samsung has made. There also are gonna be affiliate links in the description if you guys want to check it out and order some for yourself. Let's start with, which one should we start with? You guys pick. Did you pick? You picked the S22 Plus first? I knew it. I knew it. So the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus comes in four different colors. We have the Phantom Black, Phantom White, Green, and the Pink Gold. And we just so happen to have the Pink Gold to unbox. They also have exclusive colors, which I'm super into. They have the Graphite, Cream, Sky Blue, and Violet. So if you wanna get crazy, you can get exclusive. All right, here we go. Now there's not much in these boxes nowadays, but that's okay. We do have the SIM card ejector, and we have a cord, USB-C to USB-C, and we have the phone. Personally, I think that the size and the shape of the 22 Plus is perfect. It just fits nicely in my hand. I have kind of small hands, and I just really like it. They have 128 or 256 internal storage, 4,500 milliamp battery. New in this device, we now do have a 50 megapixel wide camera. We also have a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 10 megapixel three time optical zoom. And in the front, we have 10 megapixel for the selfie cam. This has a 6.6 inch Infinity O FHD plus dynamic AMOLED 2X display. So this device definitely has a more rounded feel to it. It is very flat and honestly, I really, really like it. Like this is a perfect size, perfect shape. I'm kind of into it. Let's peel it. I'm gonna get closer to you guys so you can really get into it. Here we go, ready? Oh yeah, here we got the cameras, a little bit of a closer up of the cameras. They still have the camera bump as you can see. Does this match my sweater? Kinda. This sweater was on sale, can you believe it? So these have the Armor Aluminum and the Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, I had no idea what that was. I've never even heard of that. Is that like a new thing? I don't know, but I do know that it is gonna be more durable. So we like that. They are IP68 for water and dust resistance. Wow, maybe this sweater is ugly. I'm kind of looking, I'm kind of looking at myself through this uh, front facing camera. That's a horrible first picture. Horrible first picture. While the physical upgrades to the cameras aren't necessarily a huge difference, there are gonna be a lot of huge software upgrades. One of the new features they announced was nightography. So basically it's just going to make the night mode smarter so that you will have better results, less blurry pictures, and just overall a better, more detailed night picture. We'll be doing a full review and testing out all of those features, but let's move on to the S22 Ultra. Now the S22 Ultra has the fastest chip ever and all of these devices are equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which is very exciting. These colors come in phantom black, phantom white, green, and burgundy. And they do have the exclusive colors, which are graphite, sky blue, and red. This is the phantom black. Once again, in the box, we have the phone and we have the SIM card ejector and the instructions, so I don't really need that. These devices do start at $1,199. For the storage options, you can have 128 up to one terabyte. And right off the bat, I noticed that they got rid of the camera box. So we now just have five lenses just really thrown on there. I kind of like it. Cause remember everyone was like, the camera bump's too big, but now they're like, there's no camera bump. So it's like, what do you, what do you want? Ready? That's too close. Nice. See, yeah, the camera bump is no more, which I mean, I think it's fine. Holding the ultra compared to the plus, <laughs> I have small hands, so for me this device is kind of big and I'm very, very clumsy. So I don't actually trust myself holding this, but I do love having the bigger real estate. This does have the 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED 2X display. We're also able to change the screen resolution. So if you choose the best one, it will give you the best visuals, but use the most battery. We also still have the adaptive refresh rate, which will automatically adjust depending on what you're doing, giving you up to 120 Hertz refresh rate. All these devices do have the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. So let's talk about these cameras in the back. For the rear, we still have the 108 megapixel wide. We have the 12 megapixel ultra wide, 10 megapixel telephoto three time optical zoom, 
10 megapixel telephoto 10 time optical zoom. And for the front, we have the 40 megapixel selfie camera. For the RAM, you can choose either eight or 12 gigs. And like I said, you can go from 128 up to one terabyte, which is pretty great. And this does have the 5,000 milliamp battery. So you should be able to have all day battery life, unless you're like me and you just spend all day binging shows because I have a problem. That's what I've been doing. But let's not forget the one upgrade that is really making this all maybe worth it or maybe it's upsetting people. A lot of people were like, what happened to the Note lineup? We haven't seen a new Note device since 2020. Well, here in the bottom of the device, we have the S Pen. I'm excited about this. I love the Note and I love being able to write. So I automatically took out the S Pen from the S22 Ultra and look at this. I can write here. This is a very important note. I wrote Jenna is here and stuff. So a lot of people are wondering like, is this going to replace the Note series? Have they just kind of blended the Note and the Ultra? Because like I said, there's not that many drastic changes. So this does definitely give it, you know, a change. It makes it different. And you hear that? I love that sound. Samsung also said that they improved the latency over 70% and just kind of testing this out really quickly, it's pretty responsive. Now the S Pen does only come in black, but the difference is in the tip of the pen where it will match the color of the phone. I am excited to try out the night photos and the nightography on this device, especially now that we do have a larger sensor. Obviously this is gonna give you a more clear photo. It's gonna be brighter. It's just gonna be overall better. So I can't wait to test this out. Another cool thing that these devices have is the pro mode. You can customize for video, you can customize for photos, and you can really dial in your settings so that you're able to get the picture or the video that you want. Also for the first time ever, you will be able to shift focus when capturing in portrait video. So this is just a first impressions of you know the physical devices and just some of the announcements that were announced from the Samsung event that happened today when I'm filming this. Um, like I said, there are going to be affiliate links in the description if you guys are going to be purchasing a phone that will help me out. And maybe I can buy my own studio so that we don't have a wild child running loose while I'm trying to film. Speaking of wild child, let's go ask her what she thinks of these phones. You don't want the phone. Yeah. What do you think Brainy. about it? It's a Samsung. Brainies. Well, no, that's Jenna's. <laughs> it's not Brainies. Do you need help? What do you think? Do you like the big display? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> this is new to you. This is new. New phone. Yeah, new phone. Okay. So here. Phone. No, no, Jenna phone still. Still Jenna phone. Here you go. Brainies. What do you think of it? Do you like the color? Yeah, flip it over, what do you think of that? It is so big in her hands. Those are cameras. Thank you guys so much for watching. There are gonna be affiliate links in the description, which will help me out if you are gonna be purchasing one of these devices. Make sure you subscribe because we will have more content coming soon, and I will see you guys again next time.